Nothing like green tea. Hmm. It's been a minute since I've done a mass review. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. As the title tells, today we're talking about the Oso oh Lux Tatcha Mask. <clears throat> the full name is the Clarifying Clay Mask Exfoliating Pore Treatment. They couldn't have made that any shorter. Besides the long name, it comes in a bougie jar. As per usual, Tatcha is A1 when it comes to the packaging. It better be at 92 Canadian dollars and 50 milliliters. It's all about the vibe. But let's talk about what's inside. Should you love this or leave it in the store? So when you open it up, first things first, it's a light gray clay mask, pretty standard for clay. Sometimes you get more of a charcoal, so we're darker. Sometimes you get a white, sometimes you get a French clay, which is on a light pink side. The smell of this, so luxurious. It's giving E for earthy. It's giving everything that needed to be gave for that really grounding, but bougie at home spa routine. It better be for 92 Canadian dollars. I got it during the VIB sale, so I think I saved about 20 bucks, but plus tax, you're still averaging almost $100 for this jar. Let me not get ahead of myself. You know, as per usual, I keep it real with you. When it comes to reviews, I'd rather just tell you what it is, especially when it's expensive. What I love most about this is that it feels so good on the skin. I've tried so many masks. Check the description box. I have a whole Mask Maniac playlist. This is perhaps the best clay mask as far as leaving your skin soft and supple. I never thought I would say that. Nine times out of 10, when I use a clay mask, especially a charcoal clay mask, I have to follow up with a moisturizer immediately. My skin is thirsty like it's been in the Sahara Desert for ages. This one actually left my skin, dare I say, slightly hydrated. Not moisturized, but to the point where I didn't feel like it was taut, tight, or just screaming to be hydrated. It felt comfortable and smooth and baby butt soft too. But that's pretty much where my raving ends. Besides the way it feels when you apply it and how it has volcanic ash to slightly warm up on your face, not as warming as say the pharmacy mask, cause that honey mask, that one heats up. This one's very, very, very slight, almost barely there. I don't know about you, but I'm 50-50 when it comes to masks. Half is the spa feel when you're using it, how you feel, how it incorporates into your skincare regimen. The other half is of course, the result. I'm not paying nearly $100 for a mask if it's not gonna actually do something to resurface the skin and leave it glowing, supple, soft, rejuvenated. That's where the good part of this review ends. I probably should have paid more attention to the name because that's where it says it all. It's a clarifying clay mask that also doubles as an exfoliating pore treatment. I don't have a problem with pores. My pores aren't large. They do clog up. I got a situation here, here, and a couple other places, and this did not help whatsoever. My skin felt soft where it was already smooth. It just felt softer, but it didn't help resurface or help any of the bumps go down. It just kind of left it where it is. And for point of reference, I used my acne medication and treatment throughout using this thrice weekly and still no change. So it didn't add, change, worsen, nothing. At the very least, I was hoping it would have a purging effect. You know, sometimes your skin gets a little worse when you use something like this, but nothing. So I think this would be better suited for someone who has more oily skin and is on the sensitive side. My skin can tolerate a little more than the average person because I'm always switching products, but this was just not, it just wasn't it. If I'm real with you, if this was $30, I'd probably sing a different tune, but because it's so expensive, I can't tell you guys that this is a holy grail product. It's just too pricey to not have such a good result besides the way it feels while you have it on. Besides the smell, I think I prefer the OG Purple Tatcha one that I reviewed a couple years back over this one. I think I saw more results with that, but with the price point going up, because it was not $92 when I first bought that one, this one just isn't it for me. I'm not seeing enough to say this makes sense. Now, if I just wanted it for the sake of having that experience, feeling nice and bougie with it, sure. But I have real skincare concerns here and I have wrinkles coming in, so I ain't got time for that. But truth be told, 
if you want something that is on the gentler side, that's not gonna leave your skin dry, that over time will smooth out your skin, but not really help with the raisedness of your texture, just the overall feel, just soften it a little bit, this is your pick. But if you're me, you're a little more picky, you have more skin needs, you don't wanna be spending your coins on something that isn't life-changing, you may wanna pass on that. And that's just that on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, comment down below if you've tried this recently. I know it's sold out on Sephora.com, so it's a real popular product, but I don't know. Sometimes you get swayed by a product and you're like, am I the only one or is it just overhyped? It's a pretty straightforward product. You use it for three to five minutes. I tried it from anywhere from three, five to even 10 minutes. I wouldn't push it past that. There's no point really. It doesn't ever really dry dry on the face. I love that they have, oh, pray for me as I try to pronounce this. If you're Japanese, help me. Okinawa Kucha Clay. I'm gonna call it OK Clay for short. That's what's allowing the dirt and debris, sebum, excess oil to be extracted without doing the most and leaving your skin dry. The volcanic ash, as I mentioned, warms it up just a little bit. It doesn't tingle or anything. And then there's also Kandra. <laughs> I don't know, guys, I can't pronounce it. It'll be over here. I think it's called Kanjin. Forgive my mispronunciation. That's what's really good for helping exfoliate. So there's this very fine granule in there, not too abrasive, they're not too big, they're not gonna really slough off your skin leaving it raw, it's just gonna leave it smoother. And you exfoliate a very thin layer, so this is gonna last you a long, long time, unlike the other Tatcha mask or other ones I reviewed. A little bit goes a really long way, trust me. But yeah, that's my review. That's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope it helps you make an informed decision. If you vote to use this, let me know down below as well as your skin type, how long you've been using it for. I know it dropped in the fall, so I'm a little late on that, but I wanted to wait into the sale to save a couple coins because this is fancy. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.